Trick number one is using an adjustment layer. On every video that we export out of CapCut for clients, for personal, for YouTube, for socials, we are using an adjustment layer. An adjustment layer acts as a top down layer that affects everything underneath it. CapCut is great because on your adjustment layer, you have full color customization tools. So we are always adjusting the brightness, the saturation, the contrast, and a little bit of sharpening to every single video. In addition, you can add a LUT to your adjustment layer. So I'm gonna use the Matt Louis LUT that you can purchase using the first link in the description. What this does is you don't then have to apply a specific LUT to every single clip. If you've got a hundred clips in your timeline, you can just put it on your adjustment layer and it's gonna affect all the clips that are underneath the adjustment layer. Trick number two is something I see people doing wrong all the time and it's so simple. It's keyframing your music. Let's say there's this portion of me speaking in the middle of the video. Instead of just blading our music and then dropping the audio and having this weird kind of effect where the music goes from loud to soft, we need to fade that in a way that sounds appealing. And it's so simple. All you're gonna do is go slightly before your clip starts create a keyframe on your volume. Then I like to tab forward on my arrow key about five frames, six frames, add another keyframe. Now go to the end of the clip, add another keyframe, and then tab another six frames and add a keyframe. Now what we have is the ability to drop our volume of this music, but in a way that almost fades out. It sounds so great. And what's great is we can customize these keyframes literally just by clicking them. We can reduce the duration of that fade or increase the duration of that fade. The third trick and something I do all the time for almost every video is adding dynamism and movement to my shots. So instead of having a series of static shots, all we're gonna do is go to the beginning of our clip, add a keyframe under scale, go to the end of your clip and add another keyframe. Now we can scale this in. When I play this clip now, all of a sudden we have some dynamism to the shot. The same thing could apply here. Instead, let's do a reverse. Go to the beginning, add a keyframe, go to the end of your clip, add another keyframe. Now in the beginning of the clip, I'm gonna increase the size. Now when I play that clip, our clip goes from bigger to smaller. It is a very simple way to add some dynamism, add some movement, and keep your viewers engaged, just like what's happening right now. The third trick is to go over to filters, scroll down a bit until you see clear. Now I apply the clear filter to every single video that I produce outside of CapCut. And if I toggle that on and off, you can see, I just genuinely think across the board, it adds such a beautiful, beautiful effect and filter to our footage. The last thing to increase your production quality is your export settings. So in the top right, we have this export button for social media. And by social media, I mean, TikTok and Instagram and Facebook Reels, you do not want to export a 4K project, okay? It's going to compress it down and make your footage look like trash. So rather you do the compressing how you want it. So change your resolution to 1080, make sure your bitrate is at higher, codec is H.264, format MP4 and frame rate 30 frames per second. This is going to give your social media platforms the least amount of information and data to compress down. So the video that you export out of CapCut is pretty much going to look identical on social media once you post it. If we're exporting to YouTube, YouTube actually likes a bit of higher codec. So change your codec to 4K, make sure your bitrate stays at higher. Codec can still be H.264 at 30 frames a second and your format is MP4. That is how you're going to get the best quality once you upload it to different platforms using those settings. Just some simple, quick tricks for you to increase the production quality of your videos every single time without a doubt. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.